again, welcome to Linear Optimization. Today we're going to organize the Tableau. The Tableau is a very standard way to store all of our data as we're doing the computations for the simplex algorithm. Optimization. Today we're going to organize the Tableau. Our Tableau is going to be a n plus 1 by n plus 1 matrix. And we're going to fill this matrix in with important values. What it's going to store at any given point is that this will be our current basic feasible solution. This will be our matrix X of representations of our matrix columns in terms of the current basis. What we're going to have up here is going to be our relative cost function. And what we'll have over here is negative Z0, which is going to be the negative of our current cost function. So well, just keep that in mind. This is going to be the negative of our cost function. So as we are improving our cost, that means by bringing it down, this Z0 value should be going up. Okay? But so do not forget that when you're at the end of your simplex algorithm, when I want to output the cost function, it's going to be the negative of what number is here. Okay. So the important thing about to remember everything about the tableau is that this vertical line corresponds to an equality symbol. So everything over here is equal to this, these things multiplied by x. Do not forget that. So I think about it as being the columns here correspond to my variables. Since my columns correspond to variables, I'm saying that if I actually have a specific value of x that I'm thinking about, and I multiply these variables by this, these column vectors, then I'm going to get this vector over here. Okay, so that's the way you want to think about it. Which means that when we perform the tableau, when we're working with the tableau, we can do row operations. And those row operations will maintain those equalities. That's the most important thing to remember. Right? We have m, col m rows here. These m rows are corresponding to our basis elements. And they're corresponding to basis elements in order. So our first basis variable, second basis variable, third basis variable, all the way down the line. Okay. So here's essentially what's going to be stored in it at any given moment. Let's describe how to initialize and continue. So when we're starting the algorithm, we want to fill our tableau in the following way. I want to put my matrix A here in the center, in, the, in this bigger part. I want to put my right-hand side of my equality here. I want to put zero here because I don't, I'm don't. i essentially going to assume that I have zero value everywhere. Uh, and I'll start with a zero here. And then I have the transpose of my cost vector here. Okay. So as, as I go along, I'm putting in the numbers corresponding to those variables. Something I like to do to keep track of things is I like to write down the variable names down here. So having the variable names written at the bottom here reminds me what each of these columns means and how, how it relates to the original problem. The rows, I like to write over here which variables are in my basis. So we have the basis variables here. And it's important that when I see which, uh, if I have certain things in my basis, I will also mark them with a square here. For instance, If x2 and xn are in my basis, I will put squares around them here. If I have that my second basis element is the second variable, which could happen, then what I want to do if I have my fourth basis element is the second column corresponding to x2. What I need, what I will eventually want to have in here is I will want to have representation again in our basis. So the goal is to have this be a 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Essentially I need to have, so I want to have all zeros in this column except a 1 corresponding to the fourth basis element the idea. So I want 
the fourth basis column to be the fourth standard basis element. So that's what we need to do next, is once I pick a basis, is to essentially diagonalize the tableau in that way, where I want to have a one in the position corresponding to that basis's position. And furthermore, I also need to get a zero in the column corresponding to the relative cost. So again, to convert the relative cost correctly, I need to put a zero there. So next we're going to see an example of exactly how to initialize and use the tableau.